Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up that screen. ILS International and WSFT. We're going to talk about that, do a little update, and let's get right on into that. All right, as you know, we're waiting on an update from J.P. Backwell, which should be happening, it'll probably be tomorrow. They said this week, and that was this tweet right here, and let me pull it up. And he said, with a strong quarter behind us, we are confident that Q3 will bring record revenues and the achievement of our biggest milestones. A Q2 summary with several highlights will be provided next week. So like I said, I guess that'll be tomorrow unless they launch it out tonight on YouTube. I've not seen anything on Twitter from JP or uh, from the uh, Twitter official website. It says uh, they're also going to uh, announce along with new acquisition and business update video. So like I said, I guess we'll see that on, on YouTube. And one of the big questions we had about WSFT, which of course is underneath ILUS, is the quality industrial corp, would that be the uh, company that, that does the reverse merger into WSFT? And it's a $100 million plus uh, revenue company. And the question was, will it be Quality Industrial Corp? And I think we were about 95% sure it would be. And I think at this point, we can pretty much say it, it's going to be them. It says, here's a profile updated by WSFT. As a reminder, this is the new name for WSFT, which will also undergo a ticker change. This holding company soon acquiring a QIT, $100 million plus, belongs to ERT, a wholly owned subsidiary of ILAS. And here, uh, actually, I will put this out on Twitter. It says, if there could still be any doubt as to whether Quality International of the United Arab Emirates is the $100 million plus company being acquired by ERT into WSFT, name to be changed, all under the ILIS umbrella, here are some side-by-side -side shots from the ERT and Quality International sites. And we saw that. And, of course, these pictures are, are basically identical. Identical. All right, folks, and here's the website for Quality Industrial Corp. And as you can see, it says very clearly, Quality Industrial Corp is a public M&A company focused on industrial oil and gas and utility sectors. It's a subsidiary of ILIS International. It says, ILIS acquired WSFT Wikisoft on June 2nd, a fully SEC-reported company of the OTCQB. It's an SPV, which is a special purpose vehicle, not not dissimilar to a SPAC for strategically aligned acquisitions for reverse mergers, obviously, basically a shell company. And it's undergoing a name change to the Quality Industrial Corp, which is going to be the primary business in WSFT. And they may add another one as well. And here you see their team. It says Nick Link, chairman. There's JP Backwell, director. There's Dan Peters. They just hired. So I think that pretty much clears it up of exactly what's being acquired, which is obviously Quality Industrial Corp. So I think that answers uh, any questions that were out there. And ILIS is just kind of hanging around. It's down about 2%, pretty much flat. It has run into some resistance here at 10 cents. It had been sticking between 10 and 11 for quite a long time. Then it pushed down, and now it's working its way back up. And what's causing a lot of this is there are a lot of short interest in this uh, company or short volume. As you can see, on Tuesday, it was almost 80%, 77% short volume. That's incredibly high. Of the 7.2 million shares that traded hands that day, 5.6 million were short. And then it's at 46 yesterday. So, I mean, this thing's being shorted like crazy. And WSFT ran up pretty high today, up over 50 cents. And now it's pulled back. There's probably some profit taking there just a little bit. It's down just a little bit for the day. But it did run up a little bit. And it's starting to get quite a bit of short volume on it as well. As you can see, it's had uh, quite a bit over 50%, 60, 51, 58, 65. Then it dropped a little bit on the first, and then 53 and 33. So this thing's uh, garnering a lot of interest from uh, day traders who are shorting it and probably riding it up and then shorting it back down. And I know a lot of folks are like, why isn't ILIS going up with WSFTs going up? Well, a lot of the same people that would be buying ILIS are buying WSFT. And if you own ILIS, you get a piece of WSFT anyway, because it's going to be under its umbrella. So I'm not terribly concerned about it one way or the other. All right, folks, and that's just an update on ILIS. We're waiting on J.P. Backwell's uh, video. I assume it'll come out tomorrow. I, I know it's going to be this week, so either late tonight or tomorrow. 
and uh, that'll give us a good understanding of the second quarter and then what their uh, plans are and maybe they'll discuss the accounting of those four companies that are under ERT and how they're going to be treated with uh, ILIS. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover ILIS. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd certainly appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on Mr. Frugal Investor.